radius gauges that we've provided. We have one that's a quarter inch which matches the radius that we need to achieve. Okay, 0.25 is 250 thousandths of an inch which is a quarter of an inch. That's the fractional equivalent. Alright, now radius gauges are marked to show you fraction sizes, not in decimal. We can flip it over and we like to use, you can use either this side or this side and you can line it up this way trying to find point of tangency. But my preference is to use the back side here so that I can drag my scriber on the outside. What I like to do first is line my scriber up on the bottom line or the one inch line and we're going to slide the scriber up to the 3.380 mark. Once we know that we can effectively sweep this radius with our scriber and make sure that we're tangent, we'll go ahead and make it so. See there's tangent here, there's tangent here. Now notice before I said when you were using dicum not to lay it on too heavy and